Liberia today needs a plethora of appropriate infrastructure ranging from housing to transportation to education to utilities to waste management. With that, we most certainly want you to join forces with WATCH, the West Africa Texas Chamber, and the City of Dallas to help facilitate business to business sound partnerships for this decade and beyond. Again, we say thank you for coming and welcome. I'd also like to thank each of you in this room always for your continued support. I love how y'all show up for me. I, please know I really, really appreciate it. As many of you know, my job did not come with a roadmap or a manual, and I always have to give my props to Mr. Larry Mallory, who was so instrumental when the position was first created to help me kind of navigate and figure out what in the world it was that I was doing without a roadmap. Thank you, Mr. Mallory, always. And for the rest of you soldiers who are always there for me, for my counsel, for just a shoulder, to cry on sometimes, smile on, um, and just for mentorship. Thank you so much, Ms. Lee McKinney, my assistant director who believes in my programs and always got my back. I appreciate you too. Thank you, Dr. Remy, for, all, for always your incredible friendship and your support always as well. And Mr. Carraway, it goes unsaid, um, without your support, none of this happens. So thank you so much, sir, always. And last but certainly not least, to my wonderful husband, who is always the strong, silent wind beneath my wing. Thank you, Chukuka, for being so wonderful always. And you owe me some more money now. <laughs> and an extra special thank you to all the other soldiers that are just always there just to be sounding boards for me. I appreciate you always. At this time, I'd like to bring up Councilman Duane Carraway, representing District 4 for the City of Dallas. And if there's any of your colleagues in the room, I'll let you do that, sir. Um, would you come up, sir? Thank you. Well, thank you, thank, thank you. I wish I could learn to sing. We were all trying to sing with you, but you hit a few notes that we couldn't keep up with. We'll let you get by with that. It gives me great honor, all respect to our state representative and, and, and to your honorable husband and to each and every one of you here from Liberia and Africa and from above. Let, let me say that uh, one, it gives me great pleasure to serve in my capacity. And I encourage folks, when you serve in a capacity, make sure why you are in the power and in the position to do the right thing. Never, ever fail that responsibility. As I look around and we see all of the flags and I've been here for a few years, there was one flag that I did not see. And upon meeting, uh, Her Excellency. I, I, I wondered, well, where's the flag? I see all these flags in the flag room, but I don't see Liberia. But now, before the day ends, we will erect forever the Liberian flag to join these flags in our flag. Uh, let me say just a few things. I was born here in the United States. I, like you, have looked and have viewed the history of my life and the lives before me. And it takes you back home to the motherlands of Africa, all parts of Africa. And I don't fly. I want y'all to understand that. But let, me, let, me, let me break this down to you. I am not fun of getting on airplanes, okay? I feel that if the Lord wanted me to fly, he would have made me a bird. I'd have had my own <laughs> wings to fly. But now, upon a visit uh, from 
uh, the great people from Nigeria, Abuja, uh, they too were here in our flag room and in our midst. And then I had a challenge. And, and, and the senator said, I want you to come to, my, to, to Abuja. And he said that in public with all the cameras rolling. <laughs> I'm up here trying to be politically correct. And, 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 and Representative, I said, I'm coming. <laughs> I had my fingers crossed that I was really lying, but, but I'm coming. And, and at that particular point, I was told that um, you made a commitment and they are expecting you in Abuja. So uh, the president was being in, in, inaugurated at that particular time, and, and I had opened up my big mouth and said I was coming. It is not like flying from here to Houston. <laughs> and normally I do have, and I'm, I'm always telling the truth, I'm going to tell you all, before I get on a plane, when I do choose to go, I, I have a few cocktails. <laughs> But upon learning that this flight was 15 hours, <laughs> I was trying to get out of it. But I had given my word, and my word is my bond. But upon uh, making the decision to knowing that I was going to have to keep my word, I, I said my prayers and prayed to the Lord and did everything I needed to do. And, and I took the trip. I boarded the plane and did not have not one cocktail for 15 hours. And I didn't have a cocktail because I was watching everybody move. <laughs> Anybody that's going to move wrong, he's going to have a problem with me on this plane. I want everybody to sit down. I want to make sure I was making all the right decisions and the right calls. So if something was going to go down, I was going to be on top of this deal. So I had not one drink, period. So I'm on the plane, and, and, and I'm headed there, and we get into Germany. We had to stop in Germany, and we had a little layover in Germany. Got on an elevator, and the power went out. Oh. That was the first sign I got there that something was wrong. Upon arriving to uh, Nigeria, to Abuja, I want you to know I'd never, ever traveled that far from home. And had never gone to Africa, any parts of it at all. But it was the greatest experience I have ever had in my life. <laughs> Upon looking and going there and seeing and being able to relate where I am here in the United States and looking at the treasures and the disadvantages and the opportunities and looking at the people over in that area, I was at home. And, and it gave me a new commitment to try to share the things that are there with the things that we have here. We began to talk about an exchange program and it, it, it showed me and gave me an opportunity to try to figure out how and what is it that I could do to make sure that we stay together and we share the opportunities of each land. There's so much to be learned in Africa that I wish I could take every kid out of Dallas just for two days to go over to Africa so they can come back over here and just kiss the ground. There are so many opportunities missed, but it is so much to learn. I saw six-year-olds working, herding the cows, and, and working at six years old barefoot. I saw babies taking a bath, learning how to keep themselves clean. I saw folks working and and carving things out of just tree trunks. And if you go to my office, I shipped eight crates of artifacts from Africa that are here in my office. I got a giraffe nine feet tall. <laughs> this man, we went to the village. They wanted to take me to the mall 
I said, no, I want to go to the village. Thomas, I want to go where the people are. I won't go to where the air conditioning is. I won't go here where the people are. And, 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 and exchange my American dollars there. I didn't want anybody to give me nothing. I wanted to exchange the dollars and, and, and buy with appreciation. And they carved this big tree trunk into a giraffe. And I bought the giraffe back from Africa put him in the hallway, and I named him J.J., and there ain't anybody to miss me. Okay? So, but now J.J. is in my office now, because I want folks to understand. But, but it is so talented there. I saw people walking, did not have lights. I saw millions of people just walking in the desert, and I'm driving, I got an entourage and, 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 and security, and I got everything. I mean, AKA 47s, whatever you call them, guns. But, 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 but they, they were protecting me. But at the end of the day, I'm saying, where are these people going? There are no lights. It's me and the people. There are no houses. But in the daytime, they were working. I gave you the Abuja story because that is what has inspired me to accept an invitation to leave on the 24th of this month to go to Liberia. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have a cocktail or not. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit more settled down now with, with, with knowing the, the experiences that I have to go through. But I am so proud to accept this opportunity to visit Liberia. I am looking so forward, Representative, to come in there and to better educate myself as to the things that I can be of help with Liberia and Dallas and the United States. Whatever it is that I can do and be of service, I'm going to learn and I'm going to do what is needed in the power that I can. I, I want you to know I'm, I'm excited about it. Got my passport. You got my passport? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> got to have my sisters with me now. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but we're going to go. And as I close, I want you to know one other thing as we relates to Africa. At DFW Airport here in Dallas, we're one of the largest airports in the world. But to this day, we still do not have a direct flight from That's here right. to Africa, right. and we're working on yes. getting that flight yes. here. You see, if we get that direct flight, I won't have to worry about the power going off in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can have more exchange, and we can get on a plane, and, and we can have more folks coming here, we can have more folks going there, and you can get there quicker, yes. and we can begin to have that exchange. And while we have the power to say it, we must take the responsibility and see that it is done. Yes, sir. So now, with that, I've bored you enough. I'm excited that we're going to put our flags up. We're going to take pictures by the flag. We're going to bring the cap. I'm going to, in fact, bring the flag next Wednesday down to the council meeting. Okay. Just bring just that flag. Okay. okay, and we'll rededicate it again. <laughs> they don't want to come to the flag, we'll bring the flag <laughs> now, That's how you do that. And what I say is going to be done, it's going to be done. So now don't y'all let me forget, y'all bring that flag, Norma. Virginia, y'all yeah, bring flag down to where I am, and we'll take care of that like that. At this time, I want to say thank you, welcome, and I'm looking forward, and thank you all so very much. Thank you, Ms. Gary. Y'all see why I love my counselor. Uh, this time I want to bring up Dr. Remedy Shikwaba. He is the president of the newly formed West Africa, Texas Chamber. He is my friend. He's a successful entrepreneur. He's a great leader. And I just wanted to invite and encourage each of you to join the West Africa, Texas Chamber. We're doing some wonderful things. We have some exciting things coming up for 2014. We're bringing in 10 um, cha chairmen from Nigeria here in 
next month, and then we'll be bringing them 35 to 50 at a time for a U.S. immersion here. I don't know if you guys know, this is really, it's huge what's getting ready to happen. It's taken two and a half years working with the Nigerian government to make this happen, but it's, it's going to happen. And the West Africa Chamber will be very instrumental in helping us get that done. Dr. Remy. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Uh, let me start by welcoming everyone here for today's Liberian flag dedication by the Honorable Miss Muna Panham Youngblood. It is indeed good to have everyone here. On behalf of the West Africa Texas Chamber, or WATCH, we acknowledge and thank Honorable Panham Youngblood uh, for her presence. We truly appreciate her taking the time to come and visit us city of Dallas. Your presence is greatly appreciated. I would also like to acknowledge and thank our Dallas City Mayor, Mike, Mike Wallens. I know he cannot be here, but I know that his spirit and support is here. Uh, Dallas Council members, Councilman Mr. Carraway, and all the city of Dallas representatives, Kenny, for their support. A special, special appreciation and acknowledgement to Ms. Regina Oyibe, African, African liaison for the city of Dallas. Indeed, her passion, dedication, her integrity to strengthen business, educational, cultural relationship between the city of Dallas and Africa as a whole is unmatched. Thank you, Regina all that you do for the city of Dallas and the African community. I wish to also acknowledge and thank the West African community that are present here and also a warm welcome to the Liberian community that is here. Thank you all for coming. I see some of watch strategic partners and members here. Let me just quickly recognize some of them. Uh, Bill Morgan and Mark Nelson uh, with Avistas. focus on ICT technology. Uh, I see Adam Jokerson, a president of uh, <laughs> president of Marden Landfill Engineering Service, providing the latest technology and services in terms of waste management and modernizing the landfills. Uh, Bernard Walker is here. Uh, again, thank you guys for coming here. We know Dallas is a great place to do business and has tremendous wealth of experience and resources to share with Liberia. We also know that Liberia is a stable place to do business with safe investment opportunities. The opportunities between Liberia and Dallas hold unlimited potential for professional, personal, and commercial growth, and WATCH is facilitating such growth. WATCH is focused in developing real business opportunities and partnership between Dallas and West Africa. And as a chamber, our main focus is to identify and deliver real connections with real people for real deals and projects and bring real and quantifiable values to our members. And we're doing that. So, Ms. Pam Youngblood, welcome. The West Africa Texas Chamber is very honored that you are here today to dedicate the Liberian flag to Dallas. And as president of WATCH, I know that your visit will add to increasing the relationship for the benefit of Dallas and Liberia. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Remy. At this time, we'll bring Mr. Stanley Gay, the president of the Liberian Associate Community Association here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Uh, first, I'd like to welcome uh, all of you here today. I will take the time to say thank you, Ms. Regina, for inviting me here today and getting the Liberian community involved. We look forward to working with, along with the uh, West African Chamber of Commerce. 
Um, also, I would like to extend our appreciation to Council members, uh, Council Calloway, uh, for your strong words and uh, dedication to supporting our country and also West Africa. Also, I would like to say thank you all for coming. Uh, Liberia is a place. Uh, sorry. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thanks to our Councilwoman for taking out the time to come here and uh, bring this flag and share a few words about Liberia. Also, we have a few librarians here today. Uh, I'd like to say thanks for coming here today for this occasion. Uh, we have a religious leader here, Mr. Bishop Cotto. I would like to say thanks for coming also. Uh, Liberia is a small country, as you all are well, but also a stable country. And uh, we've been through a lot, but things are moving steadily. And uh, we encourage uh, investors to go to Liberia and see how things are. There's a lot of opportunities there. And uh, once again, thanks for the opportunity. And uh, we look forward to having a strong and successful relationship, an ongoing relationship with all you all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gay. This time I'm going to bring up Honorable Muna Pelham Youngblood to give us a few words. We're going to switch it around. She's going to do keynote first, and then she is going to dedicate the flag. And then after that, Mr. Carraway will do a proclamation to Liberia. Thank you, ma'am. Good morning to everyone. Morning. Good morning. I bring you greetings from the Republic of Liberia and our president, Her Excellency, Madam Ellen Johnson Surly, and the loving people of Electoral District No. 9, Montserrat County, the constituency that I represent. The Honorable City Mayor Mark Rollins, distinguished members of the City Council, the City Management and Management Team, Department's Head, Officials of Government, Officers and Members of the Liberia Community in Dallas, Members of the West African Texas Chambers, members of the Fourth Estate, Dr. Raymond Youngblood Jr., my husband, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observed. Today marks a historical day because the national flag, the Lone Star of the Republic of Liberia, will be dedicated for the first time by me, Honorable Mona E. Pelham Youngblood, Representative District No. 9, Montserrat County and the youngest elected politician in the history of Liberia to be hosted by the city of Dallas on today, April 4, 2014. The national flag of Liberia, the Lone Star, hosted in the Lone Star State. What a beautiful coincidence. What can I say to you about Liberia that Americans themselves has not already endured? From poverty to war, rags to riches, and they are constantly seeking improvement. The Republic of Liberia and the United States of America has a great connected history and so much in common. We both have track records of doing great things first, and we both have history of making history. Our capital city is in Mor is Monrovia named after the United States' fifth president, James Monroe, who as president was known to be so earnest that it was said, if you turn President Monroe so inside out, there would be no spot on it. With there being such a statement about President Monroe, you can only imagine how the structure of Liberia is supposed to be. Unlike most African countries, that are divided by region, Liberia is divided by counties, having indigenous names like Bapolu County for its wealth of gold, blue diamond, timber, and natural gem rich farmland. Liberia is located on the west coast of Africa, bordered by Sierra Leone to the west, Guinea to the north, Africa coast to the east, and the south to the Atlantic Ocean. It covers an area of 111,370 square kilometers, of which land is 96,000 
320 square kilometers, a home of 3.9 million people, Liberia, official language is English, spoken by 90% of the population, with over 30 indigenous other languages. The Constitution of Liberia is designed from the United States of America. Dual system of statutory law based on Anglo-American common law for the modern sector and customary law based on orating tribal practices for the traditional sector that is controlled by the traditional council of the Republic of Liberia. The Pledge of Allegiance is almost the same, just replacing the United States of America with the Republic of Liberia. We have English and family names in common, such as Maryland, Allen, Copus, Kennedy, Montgomery, and Riches. Throughout the structure following the American system, such as Virginia Community, Tottenham Boulevard, the township of Louisiana, known to be one of the first settlements about 45 minutes from the capital city, Morovia, which was established by free slaves from Louisiana, Mississippi, and Virginia. Liberia, with a multi-party democracy system, three branches of government, the legislature, executive, and judiciary. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, there is a similarity between the city of Dallas, the state of Texas, and the Republic of Liberia, which has to do with the national flag, the Lone Star of Liberia, which today I have come to officially dedicate in the Lone Star State, has three colors, red, white, and blue, with a single star like the city of Dallas and the state of Texas. The Lone Star of Liberia has 11 scraps, and each scrap represents the 11 signatories of the Liberian Declaration of Independence. The blue field symbolizes the continent of Africa, the white star depletes Liberia as the first independent republic on the continent of Africa. The rare color signifies fearlessness, white purity, and the blue for loyalty. Although these representations are uniquely Liberian, the flag itself is a replica of old glory, the national flag of the United States of America. America's relationship with Liberia Dead back to 1819, the United States officially recognized Liberia in 1862, and the two nations shared very close diplomatic, economic, and military ties until the 1990s. During World War II, Liberia joined the Allied forces, and Liberia was host to important Allies' logistic base. Liberia is also the home to Firestone rubber plantation which was established shortly after World War I. This plantation was a large arm manufacturing for the Allied forces during World War II. Liberia is the first African nation to gain its independence. One of the founding members of the United Nations, the first to elect a female president on the continent of Africa. The Liberian dollar is the official currency. The Liberian dollar is the official currency However, the U.S. dollar is also accepted legal tender. The only African nation with direct colonization link with the United States of America. It was once known as Mississippi in Africa, and it is now Monrovia, Liberia. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Liberia and America's great relationship. I want to utilize this relationship because I want to strengthen the relationship because those, these two nations have unbreakable connection and is forever connected. Now we are recovering from 14 years of civil war. I'm proud to inform you all that we have celebrated 10 years of sustainable peace. <laughs> the investment climate is great. I want you to kindly take advantage in investing in Liberia. We are rich in iron ore, timber like Lavoie and Batik, blue diamond, gold, our evergreen forest. I want you to invest, and I want investors to kindly look at the following opportunities. 
agriculture. An investor will find millions of acres of land waiting to be put to productive use. Fisheries, investment in a modern fishery industry can unlock an untapped bounty in the waters of shores of Liberia. Forestry, the United Nations sanction on timber has been lifted. Liberia forest can now be responsibly harvested. Electricity and energy, a new emerging sector is being developed. Our energy sector is being developed and Liberia is inviting investors to participate. Gas and oil sector is a new discovery in the nation. Water, investing in providing power water throughout the country, which is currently lacking, is another business opportunity. Transportation, both air and ground transportation are possible investment also. Investment in the health sector of Liberia cannot be overemphasized. There is a need for more hospital and medical centers. Low and middle income housing, tourism, investing in constructing hotels and resorts, making use of our coastal view of the country. Construction and infrastructure development, telecommunication, high impact information and communication technology is needed. Banking in the non-banking areas, most especially the southeastern region of our country. Waste management and recycling. Investing in the entertainment industry, such as theater and amusement park. These are lacking. The educational system lack vocational and technical institution. Mining, this sector is growing. What may interest you most? My husband, an honorary paramount chief, a member of the board of the traditional council, a Native American from Louisiana, Shreveport, Louisiana, a country boy, Dr. Raymond <laughs> Youngblood <laughs> Jr., who is an experienced gold miner for 22 years, is currently working on establishing the only gold refinery and diamond depot in Liberia, West Africa. He came to Liberia to do gold and diamond extraction, but he saw the immediate need to establish a refinery because the small-scale miners look for buyers around the region. Please, one of your own is already there. Feel free to visit and invest in Liberia. With these sectors open for possible investment, the government of Liberia is offering tax deduction in the following areas. If the, if the cost of equipment and machinery used in the year the access is placed into service is eligible for tax deduction up to 30%. The construction cost of a new hotel or tourist resort is eligible for tax deduction up to 30%. The cost of building and, and fixture used to manufacture finished product with at least 60% local raw material is eligible for tax deduction up to 10%. The above costs are eligible for further tax deduction between 5 to 12% if the investment is placed in an economical depressed region. Additional deductions are available if the investor create more than 100 jobs. In conclusion, let me say that our gold, blue diamond, iron ore, fresh water, oil, our natural gem rich soy, evergreen forest, producing timber, cocoa, coffee, sugar cane, rice, and palm oil, are the reasons why we are currently hosting some of the United States' largest companies such as Chevron, ExxonMobil, Coca-Cola, Caterpillar, Firestone, and Delta Airlines. I say to you all, this is Liberia, an opportunity for possible investment in Africa. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I am now pleased I 
am now pleased on behalf of the people of Liberia, the President, Her Excellency, Madam Ellen Johnson Sully, members of the National Legislature, the 53rd National Legislature, the Senator, and the people of the Great Republic of Liberia, present to the city of Dallas, in the Lone Star State of Texas, the Lone Star flag of the Republic of Liberia to be hosted in your city. Say, Representative and Mr. Carroll, will you guys please go in the front so we can get All good right. photos? And not to forget about Regina, you've been working hard. I must appreciate you. <laughs> Let's get that flag pole going over here now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, wonderful. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah.